first thing in the morning, I am the most popular person on the farm. It's amazing. Look at this. Look, look, they love me. They just follow me. Do you guys actually like me or are you just hungry? Either way, I love you. I have to catch scones and put her in that stall over there to feed her in the morning because Gracie's in charge in this field, but scones gets a lot more food because she is two horses. One, two. So we have four pastures. Well, technically we have six, but the ones on the other side of the house over there don't, the fence isn't fully formed. But anyway, the field right here that's behind this one, the one like over there, the waterer broke. I think I've mentioned it, but I don't think I've really talked about it. It broke. So we're waiting for that to be repaired because right now I've got everybody kind of muddled together here and I need to rearrange everybody. It's like this whole delicate balance. Horse relationships, it's, it's so complicated because like some of them like each other, some of them don't like each other, some of them can go with mares, some of them can't go with mares. It's a big thing. So <laughs> some of them have to go with certain types of mares. So I find a big part of my life is trying to keep the social lives of my horses decent and without conflict. <laughs> and right now there is conflict. So I have got to get this sorted out as soon as possible. Hopefully the water will get fixed and uh, I can get everybody sorted. We're also about to throw Disarano and her baby back into the mix. They should be coming home soon, as soon as she's rebred or if they decide not to rebreed her. We'll just see. But uh, as soon as that's decided and done, she will come home. I'm really excited. I'm ready for her to be home. I want to play with that baby who does not have a name yet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The other fun thing about herd dynamics, particularly when you've just like moved horses around, is trying to figure out what order to feed them in. <laughs> so that they all get the correct food. Stroker is always on top. He's like always in charge. But I gotta figure out if Marquis or Ella is second. I guess we'll find out here. Yep, Stroker's in charge. <laughs> well, as it happens, Marquis is bottom of the herd. Bath time for this very dirty moo. Look at her feather, it's like brown. It's gross. So she's getting a bath. We're gonna do a photo shoot later. And she's clean. Now we just have to let her dry. So one of the things I do if you guys have feathered horses is while she's drying, I take a brush and I just brush her feather upwards because it makes it look more fluffy when it dries. It's kind of like blow drying your hair. You know, just lets the air get underneath so it dries all like floof. Especially when we're doing a photo shoot, which we are today. I Guys, I'm a little bit tempted, and you tell me if this is stupid, because see how her mane is longer here than here? It's because while she was away, it didn't get tied up properly, and so this part got chewed a little bit. Um, so I'm really tempted to like cut and even it out a little bit so that it doesn't go to a point like that. I don't know. Do you think I should just deal with it, or do you think I should cut it? Hey, you. Ella's turn. She's not quite as dirty as Gracie was. Good morning. So I went to the pool place so I could pick up a new pool pole thing because I broke mine and some other stuff, get the water tested. And I got a call from Gracie's kid's dad, uh, Gracie's old kid, not the new kid, um, that he just flew into the Ocala airport if we wanted to come check out his jet. So yeah, I wanna go check out a jet. That sounds awesome. So uh, yeah, let's go check out a jet. Hopefully I can film, cause that would be awesome. Jets, 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 big jet. We can hook them up and then we connect with a doctor and they see all our vital signs and we have all kinds of medication that we can give them. So just turn them into a bed, hook them up. That's right. Man, this, this is nice. What kind of jet is this? Challenger 650. Challenger, it's like a spacecraft. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it will level, so that's good. <laughs> Paris Bourget. So this is uh, going to Paris, La Bourget. Okay. And uh, let's say, what do you want to take, like, uh, maybe six people? 200 pounds, 1,200 pounds, right there. Put 
which is at 48,000 pounds, 48,100 for takeoff. Our maximum takeoff weight is 48,200, so just below our maximum takeoff weight. An average of 50 knots with the tailwind. And we'll cruise a long range cruise. It was uh, eight hours and uh, 31 minute flight. Eight hours from here to Paris? Yeah. Nice. Eight and a half hours. All right. Let's go. Is that the flight plan? Yeah, I just put some routes going in there across there. That would be us going across the water and then heading on in. <laughs> and uh, we just took uh, 13 people from Malta. This is like a really expensive bachelor efficiency apartment. Right. Here's our refrigerator. And our ice drawer. Yeah. And all kinds of snacks and goodies down here. And all of our silverware. Coffee machine, espresso machine. Glasses up here. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome on board your Natchez Challenger 650. May we please have your attention to review the safety features of your aircraft. Please observe the seatbelt and no smoking signs at all times. Are these little well screens too? Yeah, hey, look at that. From your crew. Yeah. Smoking is not permitted when the no smoking sign is on. But yeah, I can learn to uh, definitely travel like this. <sighs> Get some drinks. Has some friends. This this jet's going to Palm Beach from Ocala. That's like a poop. And people just pay to do that. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. This jet has so many cool features. It's like an efficiency of apartment for a really, really, really rich guy that can fly anywhere in the world. <laughs> I, I kind of want one of these. Can I get Manda? Can, Manda, can we get a jet? It's only like $23 million. I want to fly on a cool jet now. <laughs> it's hard to say words because it's super cool, super fancy, and I want one. I don't even want one. I just want to fly in one wherever I go for now on. <sighs> Today is very quickly turning into wash all the horses day. Third horse. Let's go. Well, that was kind of crazy. So this is like a jawbone thing that Catherine and I found in the woods, but there's been a squirrel over here, like chewing on it. I don't know where he went, but he tried to carry it away. That's ours. You can't have it, squirrel. Are squirrels omnivorous or like, was that just a thing? I don't know, it was weird. Well, Solomon is bathed, clipped, and rebraided, and I almost guarantee you he's about to roll. Well, I have washed three horses, clipped two horses, and I am itchy and covered in hair, and I wanna go take a shower, so I'm gonna. I wanna go take a shower, and then I'll come back, and we're gonna do a photo shoot. We tried to do a little bit of photo shoot Enos with Solomon today, but he was not interested. So we may do some more of that later. We may just let him go. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. But doesn't he look so nice, all clipped and everything? So I found out the other day, apparently he is not bay, he is buckskin, he's sooty buckskin. I thought he was bay, but I was wrong. 
So yesterday I asked Matthew to get me the movie The Wizard, as in the 1980s movie where it's all about video games. He, uh, he, he got that for me. Except he didn't. <laughs> he got The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> now if you know anything about these two movies, you'll know that those are completely, completely, those aren't even close. Like, the title is the... The closest part about that. I really wasn't paying attention. I just saw the wizard and hit download. Who wants some grain? Is it you? I bet you do. Yeah, I'm gonna put this right here. There you go. And then I'm gonna let you chow down on it. What do you think of that? Yeah. That's a great plan. Scones love speeding time, especially when Gracie is tied up over there. Because if Gracie isn't tied up, we have to bring Scones in to eat because Gracie likes to eat all the food. Gracie eats all the food! The reason we got these two up here right now, Miss Gracie and Miss Ella, is because we just did a little photo shoot. We did a pretty photo shoot. Was it me? No, it was Gracie and Ella. Hey, you want to see some of the pictures? I'll show you right now with some cool music. Ready and go! Did you like them? Uh, I got rubber bands in my mouth. Weirdo. I know this seems really weird, but it's just the easiest way to hold them. It might be gross, but how else am I going to hold them? I'm braiding with two hands. Matthew doesn't know how to braid. I mean, I don't want to tell people I don't know how to braid because I know how to braid. I just don't want to braid. Oh, you don't know how to braid or you do know how to braid? I do know how to braid. Do you really? Yeah. Show me. No, that's okay. I'm not going to fall for that. Let's do a braiding challenge. No, that's okay. Hey, people want to see us do a couple of challenges. Are we willing to take up a challenge? Pizza challenge, I heard someone say. What What's, is a pizza challenge? I don't know, but I like pizza. So. I'm not hip to the stuff. I'm down for a pizza challenge, whatever it is. Assuming it involves pizza and eating it. What if it's like put gross stuff on a pizza? I am not up to that kind of challenge. <laughs> well, there's also like a smoothie challenge and all sorts of stuff. I don't I am up for all sorts of different kinds of challenges, but I am not up for eat gross things challenge. What about Manda puts makeup on Matthew challenge? What's the challenge? I just want to do it because I think it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys like to see me put makeup on Matthew? Yes, yes. <laughs> 